One, two. You gotta hit me on the three. to kind of give everybody a real quick little glimpse into Corey's world. I remember her coming home and saying, there's this guy at the at work who just keeps talking to me. And she said, I'm not going to pay him any attention. And I remember Brian coming through the cellar and he's bounced to his step, big old smile on his face, chipper as could be. And he wanted to talk to me, and I wouldn't pay him any attention. <laughs> you know, I was still a little out on Brian, but then he he uh, he kind of grew on me that he did look out for Corey. <laughs> In the beginning, I didn't like Brian. <laughs> Gonna let it be known. I'll be honest. <laughs> like <laughs> me. <laughs> Me and Corey would like, we'd be hanging out and she'd be telling me about him and different things. And I'd just be like, ugh, like, ugh, like ready for that one to be like, done. Hello. <laughs> After meeting them though, like, I knew it was a good thing. And I knew that they were for each other. Sorry, I'm just an emotional little bean. Um. Taylor. Don't feel bad. What happens now? <laughs> Most people that meet Brian the first time have about the same reaction. <laughs> Brian's complexity, I have often described as that of a Rubik's Cube. Just when you get one side going, the other f five don't make sense. I have no idea how you did it, sweetheart. But you solved the Rubik's Cube. Nobody has ever been able to do that before. I first met Brian when he moved into the house right across the street when I was about six years old. We were both learning who we were and who we wanted to be. We felt misunderstood, even though we really weren't. We were just 20. Brian was always more in tune with his emotions than other people, and this is why we became such good friends. And as long as I can remember, he's always had an enormous heart with plenty of love to give away, just waiting on the right person to give it to. And although it felt like an eternity, he finally met Corey. You're not even kissing me. You are going to make him at least as happy as he's going to make you. Loving you is stronger than me. Loving you is easy. Loving you is way. Marriage covers all of life's most important values. A husband and a wife are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, and critic. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, and commitment is stronger. As you learn to live as one, you'll encounter many challenges that can help you grow. I take you, Corey, to be my wife. I take you, Brian, to be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Straight away, I knew everything was different with their relationship. I remember one day Brian and I were on the phone, and I was asking questions about Corey, and he was explaining to me in almost disbelief how easy their relationship was. You, Corey, take Brian to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Do you, Brian, take Corey to be your lawfully lighted wife? I do. This is all I could have ever wanted for you and more. Someone once told me, when it's with the right person, it's easy. And Brian, it's so obvious that you found the right person. Loving you is stronger me. Loving you is easy. Loving
It's my honor to present you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian and Corey Rugg. Thank you. 